Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue with the Windows Defender Security Center on Windows 10 where it says that the page is not available when you're trying to make modifications to it and it says that your IT administrator has limited access to some areas of the app and the item you try to access is not available. Contact your IT help desk for more information. So that could definitely be a bummer and we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve it. So the first thing I would try and do is if you have an administrative account on your computer, the first logical step would be to log into that and then try and disable or make any modifications you are looking to do with the Windows Defender Suite. If that is not an option and that did not work, we're going to go ahead and try something else here. And we're going to, assuming you're on Windows 10 Professional, Enterprise, or higher, not Windows 10 Home, and I will address Windows 10 Home in a little bit here since they unfortunately do not have the local group policy editor. So right now I'm going to do a trick for Windows 10 Pro and up basically, and that would be to edit the group policy. So open up the start menu, type in group policy, and best match to come back with edit group policy, left click on that. Again, Windows 10 Home users, if you do not see an option in the Start menu for edit group policies, you're going to have to wait a little bit. And we're going to go over another workaround for you guys, but this is going to be a little quicker if you're not on Home Edition. So once you're in here, you want to go ahead underneath the Computer Configuration section up at the top. Notice there's a Computer Configuration as well as a User Configuration, and they have similarly named subfolders. Um, we're going to go and expand underneath Computer Configuration, the Administrative Templates folder underneath that one. Note that there are two Administrative Template folders here, so I'm going to just minimize the User Configuration. Just guys, please do not get confused with that. So, underneath Computer Configuration, again, we've expanded the Administrative Templates. You want to go now expand the Windows Components. So, expand that one now as well. And now you want to locate the Windows Defender folder here. And you notice that there are quite a few here. But we're going to select the Windows Defender Antivirus. So even though there's multiple ones here, we're going to just select the Windows Defender Antivirus. I'm going to expand this back a little bit, make the window a little bit bigger so we can see where we're going. And now that we've made this window a little bit bigger, on the right side there should be something that says turn off Windows Defender Antivirus right here. You want to double click on that. Now you want to select Disabled and then left click on Apply and OK. And now once you have done that, you don't want to close out of anything yet. You want to, Now you want to go up near the top, there should be something that says Client Interface. Double click on that. And then there should be something that says Enable Headless UI Mode. Double click on that. I'm going to drag this over here. Select Disabled and then left click on Apply and OK. Once you're done with that, once it just restart your computer, hopefully that has resolved your issue. Now if you're still having a problem, I'm going to show another workaround, hopefully, and that would be the close out of here. You would now open up the Start menu, type in CMD, best match should say Command Prompt, right click on it, left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video, I want you guys to just copy the first one here. It should say Net User Administrator Active Yes. The second one should say Net User Administrator Active No. So basically the first one we're going to activate a hidden administrator account in order to just log into it and then turn off Windows Defender or turn it on, whatever you're looking to do. And then you should run the other command to turn it off once you're finished. So again, first command here, just copy it out of my description. Then go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste, net user administrator, and then there's a space, forward slash active, and then a colon yes. When hit enter on your keyboard, it should take the command completed successfully. Close out of here. If you open up the start menu and, and then if you sign out of your account, there should be another account now on your computer. You just would sign into that instead. 
there's really no need for me to really get too deep into that. It's a pretty obvious process. Just going to log into that account and then just type in Windows Defend into the Start menu, Search Results, open it up, try and change whatever settings you're looking to do, and then log back into whatever account you're on right now before you do any of that. And you're going to open up the Start menu once you're all done. Type in CMD again. I'm going to run that as an administrator. So another user account control prompt, left click on yes, copy the second command where it says active no, and then again at the top part of the command prompt, right click, left click edit, left click on paste, hit enter, should say the command completed successfully so then that additional account will no longer be visible if you're trying to sign into your Windows computer. So pretty straightforward tutorial guys, do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.